Hi, my name is Fritz Huey. In this video, I'm going to integrate the Unity Ads 2.0 SDK into a Swift project. We are going to show a video ad, then reward the player for watching the ad. Before we integrate, we need to create a new game project in the Unity Ads dashboard. First, name your project and leave COPA compliance disabled unless your game specifically targets children under 13. Enable App Store and enable and continue. Now you'll see the unique game ID that we can use to initialize the SDK. Make sure to enable test mode so that your game project doesn't get flagged for fraud during testing. We can enable that by selecting the game, platform, settings, test mode, force on. If you haven't, Download the 2.0 SDK and we'll begin the integration. In this project, I have a button that the user will tap to watch an ad. Once the ad finishes, we'll reward them with some free coins. To get started, drag and drop the Unity Ads framework into your Xcode project and copy it. Now, let's choose a view controller that we want to show ads and import Unity Ads namespace. Once that's done, we can make the view controller a Unity Ads delegate. Now, Unity Ads delegates have four required callbacks, so let's add those now. Unity Ads is ready. Did start. Did error. And did finish. Cool. At this point, your project should compile, and we're ready to initialize the SDK. I'm going to initialize it in view did load so that it initializes right away. I'm going to use unity adds initialize. Now we're going to need that game ID from the project we created on the dashboard. So let's switch back to the dashboard. Grab this game ID and enter it as a string. Delegate will just be self. Now that our project is initializing, let's set up the button to show ads. Now the show ad button should not be available until ads are available. So let's hide it by default in view did load and then reveal it once the SDK has finished initializing. Now Unity Ads Ready is called as soon as the SDK finishes initializing and has a video available, so it's a perfect place to reveal the button. Cool, now that our ads button is revealed, let's have it show an ad. Here an ad button pressed. Now, placement IDs allow you to control the options for videos that have different places in your game. Like sometimes you might want a video that skips, sometimes you want one that doesn't, and you want to keep track of what type of video is being played. We use placement IDs for this, and they're available on the dashboard. Go back to your game project, select the platform. You'll see that by default there are two placement IDs, video which can be skipped after five seconds, and rewarded video, which cannot be skipped. For testing, let's use video. We'll enter that as a string. And now your project should be ready to show ads. The last thing to do is to reward your player for watching an ad. So we'll use Unity Ads Did Finish to detect when a player finished watching a video, and we'll use state to see if that video was skipped. We can do this by saying if state does not equal skipped, then we reward the player. In this case, I have a function that provides some free coins. 
So let's just use that reward player watching an ad. And with that, we're done with the integration. So let's test. OK. When the SDK finishes initializing, it's revealing the Show Add button. Now this time, let's skip the ad to make sure that it's not rewarding falsely. Skip video. Perfect. I don't have any bonus coins. Let's try again. And this time we'll allow the video to finish. And there, we have 10 bonus coins. And that's all there is to it. Before you launch, don't forget to disable test mode and thank you so much for checking out this tutorial. If you have any additional questions or feedback about this tutorial, please check out our forum, email us directly, or reach out on Twitter. We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for using Unity Ads.